Hey gun nuts. So we're back out here at the office today. Make sure that you hit that uh, subscribe button, hit that notification bell, hit all my links below, particularly my affiliate links. I got a lot of accessories for all of the guns that I show on my channel. This is the Hellcat by Springfield. Compensator on the front. It's got the um, Wasp red dot on the front of this here. Kind of a flattened off trigger. 10 plus one. We're gonna go ahead and throw these down and see what it's like. We're good. To shoot the Hellcat Pro, okay? Or the Hellcat, not the Hellcat Pro. Just the Hellcat. We're gonna see what it's like to shoot the Hellcat. All right, let's go. Got my steel plate target right down here. As y'all know, an A1 marksman, I am not. I forgot, when my buddy gave me this gun, he told me, do not worry about the red dot. The red dot is not sighted in. So my genius self, I'm out there busting and busting. I'm like, wait a minute. I'm seeing all this dust and stuff around. I ain't hearing no tinging. So then I went back to the, um, the iron sights and uh, still ain't hear too much tinging, but uh, we're gonna load it up again and uh, one thing I did notice about these smaller 9 millimeters, you guys, if you are out here and you're looking for these small guns and you got uh, relatively medium, large dick beaters or whatever bigger, just know this gun is going to kick. It's got a snap to it. So you got to get out here and make sure you shoot quite often so you can get used to the feel of your gun. All right, I don't want to deter you from buying this gun, but I want you to be aware of what you're gonna experience when you're shooting this gun, perhaps in a self-defense situation, okay? So let's go load this mag up. We're gonna pop off some more on this Hellcat for you. Let you see what's going on with it. All right, so we got another mag loaded up here. 10 rounds, plus one in the chamber. Let's go ahead and get it in. Actually, wait a minute. It's 11. It's 11 in there, right? Am I seeing that right? All right. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, pop off some more shots, see how we do. Man, I hope y'all can see what I'm shooting at in here. I didn't hear like the tings until like the last three shots. So I was still trying to figure out where to hold this gun at. So I think I got it down. I'm gonna go ahead and run one more mag for y'all. And then I'm gonna give you some more feedback on uh, the way I adjusted my grip just then, particularly near the last three shots that made a difference in me being able to uh, hit the uh, steel plate out there for you. So, all right, gun nuts. So I'm back with the last uh, round of, of magazine. I, I did three rounds, three mags, um, Hellcat. Um, another thing that I gotta let you guys know about with this gun it's, it's new so the magazine after like the third or fourth round you gotta put your big boy pants on and come with it because you're gonna have a good time loading this magazine it is not a game getting 11 in here yeah you better come with it so let's go ahead and uh, let's get active as you young fella say it Get active. All right. Oh, 
call myself Flesh. Miss one. All right, so, Springfield, Hellcat. I say it's a good gun, good carry. Uh, make sure you get out there and practice with it. Y'all know my number one thing with firearms, safety, safety, safety. After you get through that hurdle, then you get to training, 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 and practicing, okay? Get your gun out there to the range, get it hot, oil it up, get it wet again. You know what I'm saying? After you shoot it a couple of times, smell a booty. You know what I mean? Anyway, gun nuts, thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. God bless you. Happy shooting.